Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1981 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox at Fenway Park. On the mound for Detroit is Jack Morris, whose record is 3-2 with a 4.40 ERA. And pitching for the Red Sox is Bruce Hurst, whose record is 1-3 with a 3.71 ERA. And so we had a nice little win yesterday, a 2-1 to one victory. And uh, Omar Marino is playing himself right into the lineup. He had uh, two doubles and a triple uh, after coming off an, uh, a big game on the 8th. And so uh, we, we're going to work him into the lineup every day now uh, in some way or another. Uh, we do have a little bit of a challenge, though, because we're uh, facing a left-hander, Bruce Hurst. And we don't do very well against lefties. Um, so... Omar Marino is in the lineup today, and I stuck him at the bottom of the lineup. I moved some people around. You're going to see here in a minute. As uh, we sent Jerry Uger uh, back down to the minor leagues, he pitched really well yesterday. He went seven uh, strong innings, and uh, really, you know, he's kind of like our sixth starter. And maybe if uh, Tobik or Stanley don't work out, um, then maybe we can bring uh, Jerry Uger back. But uh, it's really Bruce Robbins' uh, uh, position to lose, and we'll see if he can hang on to it. So here it is, Bruce Hurst, lefty, and uh, we got Ricky Henderson. We got you know, like basically we have some of our you know main everyday guys. Uh, but what I've done is I've moved Sweet Lou into the third hole. Uh, let's flip it over to lefty so you can see what I'm talking about here. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get a lefty at the top of the lineup. I mean, Whitaker's got to play this game, I mean, at least for defensive purposes. Because uh, we all have lefties on the bench except for uh, Mark Wagner, and uh, I'm not really excited about him. Uh, so Lance Parrish is clean, batting cleanup, and we know he sucks, um, although he's doing okay against lefties. We got Kemp in there to drive in runs. Barry Bunnell, after his last start against lefties, uh, gets another shot here today. We have Marty Castillo at first uh, in place of uh, JT, who uh, somehow or another is actually worse than uh, Marty Castillo. Tommy Brookins and then uh, Omar Marino. So I'm trying to get it so that there aren't uh, any lefties bunched up together in case um, we are not having a good game and uh, they can shut us down with uh, Bruce Hurst against uh, multiple lefties in a row. So. We're not going to have to worry about that as uh, we'll go ahead and do a, a, an actual lineup rundown here so you can see uh, the current stats. Uh, betting leadoff and in center field is Ricky Henderson. Betting second at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Betting third at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Betting cleanup and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting fifth in left field is Steve Kemp. Batting sixth and DHing is Barry Bunnell. Batting seventh at first base is Marty Castillo. Batting eighth at third base is Tommy Brookins. And batting ninth in right field is Omar Marino. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, Bruce Hurst, lefty, um, he technically hadn't made it to the major leagues yet in real life um in uh this game he had his uh, rookie year last season making 16 starts off to a better start this year uh his eighth start is one in three but his era is down to a 371 51 innings pitch he's got a couple complete games uh, a decent walk to strikeout ratio certainly improved over um his uh rookie campaign and an opponent's batting average is 231. Okay, defensive lineup for the Red Sox. Take a look there in the field. And uh, let's get going here. Here's uh, Ricky Henderson leading off. He had a stolen base and two caught stealing yesterday as he hits a ground ball to first. And Stapleton makes the play. Next up is Tram, and he hits a ground ball to short. Two down, 
Here's Whitaker betting the three hole for the first time. Oh, that's what you love. Home run into right center field. That is his sixth home run of the season. Uh, only behind J Jason Thompson, who's got seven. So one nothing Detroit as we had a lefty on lefty action there. And uh, to no one's surprise, Parrish strikes out. So we're going to end the top of the first. We have an early one nothing lead. Here is the Red Sox lineup, uh, the same as the first two games of the series. Marty Barrett batting leadoff, playing second base. Batting second is Wade Boggs at third. Batting third in left field is Jim Rice. Batting cleanup in center field is Freddie Lynn. Batting fifth at first base is Dave Stapleton. Batting sixth in right field is Yvonne Calderon. Batting seventh and catching is Dave Rader. Batting eighth at shortstop is Rick Burleson. And batting ninth and DHing is Tom Pocket. And we got Morris on the mound. He's had a couple good starts in a row. Uh, take a look here at the game log. Uh, he had that eight uh, complete game uh, loss. Um, he pitched really well, just uh, uh, unfortunate that he didn't get the victory. And then in his last start, he went seven, just giving up one run on four hits. Uh, he did walk five, though. So uh, three starts in a row where he went at least seven innings. So let's see what he's got today for the Sox. Yeah, so let's just switch that back over. Here's the defensive lineup for the Tigers. Um, Tommy Brookins, just want to point out that uh, despite his 95 defensive rating, his uh, fielding percentage is under 900. And uh, if you're wondering, and I know you are, Wayne Gross, his fielding percentage is only 909. So we're not getting a lot of defensive love at third as um, Marty Barrett grounds out to second. One down, here is Wade Boggs. Oh, there we go, Boggs gets the base hit to right. And he stretches it into a double. So Boggs into scoring position with the uh, first hit for the Red Sox. Next up is Jimmy Rice, and he hits a ground ball to second, moving Boggs over to third. He's going to leave it up to Fred Lynn, batting, uh, he's 4 for 10 against Morris This uh, in his career. Oh, he crushed it. Okay, it's off the wall. I thought it was gone. He just hit it so hard on a line, uh, 400 feet right off the um, that little indented part there in the um, the wall where the, uh, where the wall comes in, I guess. So uh, I think it's where Torrey, Hart Torrey Hunter went over the wall for the Tigers uh, on that big poppy home run. So the uh, Sox tied up at one on the RBI double, and then Dave Stapleton flies out to center field. So all tied up at one, we head to the top of the second. Here's Steve Kemp leading off the inning. He's gonna pop it up into foul ground on the first base side, and Stapleton makes the play. One down for Barry Bunnell. He had a couple hits his last game. There we go. Base hit for Bunnell. So uh, he wants to keep his spot on the roster. Runner at first. Here's Marty Castillo. Oh, betting only 171. Playing first base today. Oh, he rips it down the left field line. That's going to go off the wall. And it's a triple. An RBI triple. And, uh, oh man, so Boston pulled the infield in, and yesterday we lost three base runners on the uh, Red Sox pulling the uh, infield in. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of a rough game for, for our base running with the two caught stealings. As uh, Tommy Brookins is going to pop it up right at the plate. So that's going to be two down, so Castillo... Standing at third. Here is uh, Omar Marino. Let's take a quick look at him. Uh, 56 at-bats. That's all. Uh, 22 hits. 
He's got 10 doubles, two triples. Look at that. His OPS is over 1,000, almost 1,100, almost batting 400. Um, five out of nine, though, in stolen bases. So not, not great there. Uh, we're giving him here a shot versus the lefties. Oh, he's going to walk. So first and third, Ricky batting uh, 361 versus lefties. And two for four against first in his career. Henderson hits a ground ball, too short. Actually, that was to third base, and uh, Boggs makes the play. So we get another run on the board on the RBI triple from Castillo, and we go to the bottom of the second, two to one. Yvonne Calderon will lead off, hits a ground ball right back to Jack, and Jack tosses him out. One down, here's Dave Raider. Raider hits a weak ground ball to short, and Trammell tosses him out. So two down for Rick Burleson, and Burleson pops it up on the infield, and Trammell makes the play. So one, two, three inning for Morris. We go to the top of the third. Alan Trammell will lead off. And he hits it far, deep, long. And uh, yeah, that's another home run for Trammell. He's got five now, betting 320. Three to one at Detroit. A couple long balls from the middle infielders. Here's another one of those middle infielders. Uh, Sweet Lou, he pounds it right into the dirt and Raider makes another error. He had an error in yesterday's game. So maybe this is just a bad year for catchers. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Parrish, Parrish strikes out for the second time. He had the golden sombrero two games ago. Uh, I can't remember if he struck out in yesterday's game. I'm assuming he did. So uh, let's try to have Whitaker steal second, get into scoring position, curveball, and Whitaker does steal second base. 71 mile an hour curve. So let's see if uh, Steve can't get a base hit versus lefties. Nope, he strikes out two. It's three Ks for Bruce Hurst. And it's going to leave it up to Bunnell. He goes the other way, but he hits it right at the second baseman. And Barrett throws him out. So we go to the bottom of the third. 3-1. Tigers have a run in each inning. Tom Paquette leading off the bottom of the third. Flies out to left center field. There's one out. Back to the top of the lineup with Marty Barrett. He hits a hard line drive to left. And Kemp makes the catch right at the wall. So with two down, here's Wade Boggs. Two for ten, two walks against Morris. And there's going to be an infield hit to first as uh, Castillo not really playing out of position. He did play first for Detroit, but his defensive rating is not nearly as strong as most everyday first basemen. Oh, crap. There's a two-run shot for Jim Rice. He had a home run in uh, game one of the series, and Rice ties it up. His sixth home run of the year, so it's three all. You can see that coming with that infield single. It just seems like how the game sort of tries to even things up. So three runs, four hits for both teams, and uh, we go to the top of the fourth. Marty Castillo, he had that triple, kind of unexpected, as he pops out to Barrett at second. Next up is Tommy Brookins. Brookins hits a ground ball to third, and Boggs boots it. Two errors for the Sox. They had three in the first game, and they had one yesterday at, uh, at least. I can't remember exactly, but I know Dave Rader had one in yesterday's game. So we have Brookins uh, on first, and we're going to let Omar Marino swing away. That's a lot of speed on the base pass. Ground ball right to second. Uh, they only get Brookins at second base. 
So Marino on first for Ricky Henderson. 0 for 2 today. There we go. I was going to maybe hit and run with him, but uh, let him swing away. Get the same result as Marino cruises into third base. So first and third, two down. A little two-out rally here from Trammell. He had that home run in the last inning. And he shoots it to right, and it falls in for a hit. Tigers get the lead back. Henderson advances to third. It's first and third for Sweet Lou. He got things started with the home run, and he's going to walk in this at bat. Now the bases are loaded for the one guy that uh, I'm fairly confident is going to strike out. He's already got two Ks today. Oh, it's a 1 0 count. Oh, it's a grand slam. Hey, there's the Tigers' first grand slam of the year. They're going to keep uh, Bruce Hurst in there. He's given up eight runs. I guess, uh, yeah, those are some unearned runs. And he, he is at 88 pitches. Um, but his endurance is really high, too. So, so that was a uh, blast from Parrish. Only his second on the season. Uh, but we'll take a grand salami. As Steve Kemp keeps it going. Base hit to right. That's it. So they're going to yank out uh, Bruce Hurst, and they're going to bring in the righty, Mike Smith Smithson. And, uh, yeah, he played a long time for uh, the Twinkies, um, probably what he's most famous for. Uh, but the Twins made a lot of trades last year, and I'm assuming that's how we got to Boston. I guess we could look at the transaction. Uh, nope, I don't know then what happened. But, uh, anyway, he's um, got must have got, just got called up from AAA. And they're going to need him to go a few innings. So Kemp at first. And uh, Barry Bunnell. Normally I'd yank him out, put him Gibby in there. But uh, we're going to let him get a few extra at-bats as he uh, immediately grounds out to short. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It is to 8-3. Dave Stapleton leading off the bottom of the fourth. He drops a base hit to right in front of Omar Marino. So this is a game where, I don't, I mean, there's going to be a lot of runs scored if it keeps going at this pace. There's a line drive into right center field. It gets down, gets all the way to the wall. And that's a double for Calderon. Second and third. And the lefty Dave Rader up. Uh, Morris might not get to the fifth if this uh, keeps up. There we go. Dave Rader pops it up on the infield. That's going to be the first out. One down. Here is Rick Burleson. Burleson hits a ground ball to short. Run scores from third. It's 8-4. to four As uh, Burleson's tossed out at first base. Calderon holds. So two down for Tom Paquette. And Parrish allows a pass ball. Uh, I guess we have to forgive him for that. For, since he had that uh, grand slam. And then Paquette gets a base hit. So it's 8-5. to five. Um, Man, this is, this is tough. I mean, Morris is only at 53 pitches. Doesn't have a strikeout today. Doesn't have a walk today either as he pop, uh, gets uh, Bear to pop it up to Whitaker. Two more runs on the board for the Red Sox. It is eight to five. Marty Castillo leading off the top of the fifth. Only the top of the fifth. Um, I feel like a lot of the games have been going long lately, but at least they've been entertaining. As uh, Tommy Brookins hits a ground ball to short. Okay, here's Omar Marino. Doesn't have a hit yet today. Oh, man, I thought he was going to squeeze one through there. But he grounds out to second. We go to the bottom of the fifth. At least the uh, Red Sox finally put a goose egg up on the board. At the very least, I'd like to get Morris through this inning, but he's not going to cooperate as he walks Boggs to bring uh, Jim Rice up. He had that home run earlier in the game 
And he hits a fly ball to center field. Henderson should make the catch. He does. One down. Here's Freddie Lynn. Lynn hits a ground ball to second. Turn two. There we go. So we got Morris through five. He's definitely going to earn that win today. So here we are, top of the six. Henderson grounds out. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Player of the game so far, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's probably Parrish. I mean, he hit a grand slam first one of the year. And you need to be recognized. So one down as Henderson grounded out. Trammell, two for three on the day, hits a fly ball to center field. So two down for Sweet Lou. And Lou goes the other way. Oh, die is right at the wall. Play is made and left by Jim Rice. And that's going to do it. You go to the bottom of the six. Still, still like the five. Got uh, two of the next three batters this inning are going to be right-handers. So let's see if Morris can take care of business as he gets Stapleton to fly out to right center field. One down. Here is Yvonne Calderon. Calderon strikes out swinging. I don't think I, I mentioned this, um, and I keep forgetting to look it up to get it right. But I believe uh, Yvonne Calderon um, was shot to death in uh, in Puerto Rico. I think he was only uh, 42 years old. I seem to remember that to be true. He was at like some nightclub. And uh, I think he got mugged. And uh, unfortunately, he was shot. So here we are, top of the seventh. Here's Mr. Granny. And uh, he gets a base hit, drops it in to uh, center field. And he's got two hits today. That'll make me feel a bit better about giving him player of the game. So runner on first for Steve Kemp. Kemp hits a ground ball to Stapleton at first. That should be two. It is. So with two down, we're going to give Barry Bunnell another shot here to bat against the righty and he grounds out to first as well so we go to the bottom of the seventh eight to five still uh two out of the next three batters are righties and this is the bottom of the lineup so let's see if morris can get through this get another seven inning start oh castillo he boots it at first we're going to guard the lines that's the first error I think we've had in, in a little while, right? Yep. As uh, Paquette gets a base hit to right. That's going to bring up Marty Barrett. You need a double play here. There we go. Line drive right at Castillo. Hey, he makes the play. And, uh, I mean, I don't really... I mean, I could play the odds of bringing a lefty against Boggs, but he hits both so well. He's two for two on the day. Maybe I should bring him a lefty and uh, show him something different and try to get out of this inning with a double play. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to skip over Comstock. We're going to go right for, to Pat Underwood, who um, I believe is... Doing really well in his splits. Yeah, lefty's only batting 121 against him, but uh, Wade Boggs is no ordinary lefty. So let's turn two here and get out of this. Oh, he walks him. Come on. Yeah, that's crap. <laughs> oh, man. So the go-ahead runs at the plate. Um, I have no idea who to bring in. Um, I could see Jim Rice easily turning to. I mean, the guy we should bring in, it should be Dave Tobik. This is the guy. Uh, he's in this role. Uh, but who knows? Base hit to center. Two run score. And uh, it's going to bring up Freddie Lynn. Red Sox are only down by one. 
So that error by uh, Castillo just opened the floodgates. Freddie Lynn, he strikes out swinging as Comstock comes through. Uh, we got two righties coming up. Uh, man, we're just we're just trying to play the odds. We're going to bring in Bob Stanley to face his old team. And Stanley has been pitching pretty good lately. Uh, well, he, went, he took the he took the hit that one game. That wasn't really his fault. Um, he went three and a third. He did give up three runs, uh, but he was lights out there for a while. Uh, but he we did he didn't have a choice. We needed him to go uh, a few extra innings there. So let's see how he does here against Dave Stapleton. There it is. There's the tie game. That's bullshit. As uh, the game's all tied up at three. And then uh, Yvonne Calderon hits a home run in the center field. So uh, that's 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 how this game works. You just sometimes you just get mogled. And Dave Rader will end the inning by grounding out the second. So a six-run inning, and uh, the Red Sox have a 11 to eight uh, advantage here in the top of the eighth. This jackass right here started the, um, the whole rally with his error. And he strikes out. Tommy Brookins grounds out to first. And uh, Omar Marino, first time I give him a, a chance to uh, play every day. He uh, sucks the pipe. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Rick Burleson's going to flip it down the right field line for a double. And Tom Paquette flying out to center field. Bur Burleson does tag up and takes uh, third base. Pull the infield in. Barrett hits it right back to Stanley. And, of course, he's out at home. So yeah, that, that, that plan has not worked very well <laughs> all this uh, series. And Boggs flies out to right. So we go to the top of the ninth. Down by three. Um, Smithson, I mean, he's given up only one hit. Ricky Henderson having a pretty bad game. One for five now. Tramel strikes out. And Lou's going to maybe dump it into left center field. It does fall in. Uh, we, don't, we don't need to go for two. Um, here's the player of the game, most likely. Parrish, two for four, home run. Defensive indifference will move Whitaker into place. There we go. So, yeah, that game was bullshit. As uh, Tigers lose 11 to 8. Um, it's the kind of game that makes me feel like uh, we really probably need to sell. Um, I guess we'll, we're going to try to get through this next week and I'll start making decisions. I was going to wait to the end of the month. Um, but a 19 and 17 record, two games over 500, is not going to be uh, nearly good enough to, uh, to win this division with uh, Baltimore and Boston. And I know. The Yankees are looking pretty grim right now, but they always make a run. So uh, we fall to 19 and 17, fourth in the division, tied with the Yanks. We're going to go see California. We're coming home uh, to face the Angels, and they are the top team in the West. So, uh, man, that might be a, a true test there. Uh, every day we've had a trade uh, this week, but not today as Ron LaFleur gets injured for a week Ron Romanic of the Angels goes down for a couple months and uh, White Sox left fielder Ron Pruitt gonna miss seven weeks so all right let's pull up the box score and we'll get out of here player of the game uh, got to give it to Parrish of course he had two K's he did have a grand slam and a single and uh, if you 
If you get a Grand Slam in the game, uh, somebody's going to have to work really hard to outdo you. Bull uh, blew this one. Uh, also, the error by uh, Marty Castillo uh, really gummed up the works. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, everybody, uh, you know, uh, those runs um, were attributed to Morris. He did not deserve that. But uh, Underwood walked. Uh, the error was again uh, with Morris, and then Underwood walked uh, Boggs, and then Tobik um, just, <laughs> I, what did he do, give up a hit, right? And then uh, Comstock at least got somebody out with the K, and then we came in with uh, Bob Stanley, and uh, he gave up the, the long ball, and that was the end of that. So Smith Smithson gets the win. He's 1-0 on the, on the year. Tobik takes the loss. He's 1-1. One one. Uh, Boss did. I mean, they did put up some runs. A lot of doubles, a couple, couple home runs. And uh, we, hit three home, we hit three home runs, and we did not win. That, is, that does not happen very often. So uh, that's going to do it. Let's get out of here, and uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow with the game against the California Angels. Until then, everyone, have a great night.